Hey guys, how's it going? It's your aka Baby Sham 33 here. So, we are going to be doing Summer Smackdown Alpha um, Epic. Uh, kind of uh, already uh, you know, reviewed over the path and the fights along with the notes. We have our team uh, selected here. So, let's, uh, let's get into it. We'll discuss each fight as we go about them. And of course, we're going to be doing this live. So, uh, you get to hear my comment and what I'm thinking as I go through it. First up, you have Thing, uh, it has Fury, Adaptive, Heavy Hitter, kind of annoying, um, Empowered Immunity, uh, also, uh, will activate the web phone, so no matter what, we don't have to worry about those unstoppable effects, and as you already see, uh, definitely a beefy boy here, um, tag value is uh, okay, but 10k is, you know, still, uh, you know, it's a heavy hitter. Um, and 132 um, health, so let's kind of get into it. Okay, start off by landing a parry. We're gonna go in for our combo. Let's make sure we get that uh, slow applied. And of course, even with the slow applied, you know, you still have to remember that uh, he is. Uh, going to be, let's refresh that slow, um, unstoppable, so let's get off our special two, awesome, now we need to bait this out, and we can really get that nice long slow, so uh, we uh, just need to take our time, Get our combos in. Come on, there, boy. Let's reapply that slow debuff. Come on. Throw it out. There we go. Use our special uh, three to refresh um, our cartridge. And this fight is well in or under control, so no real problem. And next up, we have a Diablo. Um, for Diablo, we're going to be using Torch, but you will see there's Rebound Determination, uh, so we can't uh, put debuffs. Um, are you going to get that uh, increased attack and that power gain? Um, you also have to be careful with parries because that comes as, you know, I'll armor break him. Uh, you have Force of Will, uh, Kinetic Ruin, and Limber, and you have Toxic Rage. Uh, I am currently running uh, Resonate, uh, so I have to be very careful with that also. Um, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to activate his Nova Flame, as that does not count as a debuff. So, I'm going to start off the fight. I'm not going to... Uh, let, I'm not going to parry him. Let's use him some... Uh, Three hit combos, and he did go unstoppable there. So luckily, he didn't punish me. Just kind of back off. Let's see if uh, I can use it and get him to a third special one. Come on, there, buddy. And he just wouldn't throw it. So you know what? Let's just go for it. Got a nice long special stun. And it's alright, he's down. Now we have this Havoc. This is a bit more of a tricky fight. Um, enhanced energy attacks, heavy hitter, also annoying because you can't get that in when uh, he does his heavy attack, so you really have to, you know, double parry to get that stun. Then you have aggressive, 
Um, so that helps a little bit. But then you also have crumbling armor. So if you haven't landed it in six seconds, receive an armor break. And then you have improved power gain. And improved power gain with a warlock is not a problem. But the crumbling armor can definitely be a headache. So um, let's kind of get in here. See if we can. There we go. So I'm going to try to basically, because he is aggressive, I want to uh, get in whatever I can. armor break on me uh, so that definitely is annoying uh, I gotta hit that I need my armor back as soon as possible there we go luckily we're back up I have to go in for a cheeky hit there uh, awesome like I said it's a bit of a Score with special three. I'll drain his power. And uh, get a little health back, hopefully. Like I said, you have to be so careful. Um, get a cheeky hit in there. So just to kind of refresh that crumbling armor. Good. And we should be able to finish him off with a special one here. Awesome. So, just kind of got out of that, but uh, definitely a real tricky fight um, because of the heavy-handed. You can't really get those ends. Um, and then his heavy attack takes so much time that, um, you know, his heavy attack takes so much time that, you know, that, that six seconds on that crumbling armor is really ticking if you haven't uh, already gotten a hit in. So, um, just between, you know, the length of his duration of his heavy attack and then waiting for that unstoppable to fall off you're kind of at the mercy of uh you know kind of just as soon as he his heavy attack is dropping getting in a sneaky little hit and then backing up quickly um you know uh, definitely if you have the ability to um you know we'll talk about it afterwards with regards to teams that you could bring into kind of combat this. But then we have Sinister here. We have Debilitate, uh, Recovery and Healing Abilities. 150% uh, more health. Uh, he's defensive. And then you have Dark Intellect and Burden of Might. Uh, genetic Perfection. Uh, we have two choices here. We can use uh, Human Torch uh, to basically reverse all those. Or we could use Warlock. Um, before I so let's pop what I do have into Warlock. So uh, before I do anything, uh, do I have any of these? No, I don't. No, screw it. I'll just do this. Uh, I'll go with Warlock first, just because even if I mess up, um, I don't have to deal with um, him. Uh, Gain in one of his persistent charges. When he defeats a science hero, his regeneration is uh, increased. But also, he does begin the fight with three random passive effects from at, from his signature ability. So, something to definitely watch out for. Um, you know, outside of you know him just already being a non hit defender. Oh, I forgot he's passive. So, something to keep in mind. Bait that out, no problem. Let's, uh, oh, I had a special three. I'm not even sure what happened there. Why, uh, maybe I just missed something in the node that uh, caused me to lose my special three and uh, revert to a special two. 
I'm going to celebrate that out. Yeah, I see the power drain there, but like I said, is it every time he throws a special, I get a power drain? Power drain. Whatever. Let's do that. Ah, I swear I dexed back. Alright, it's alright. So, uh, just uh, see if I'm missing something here, or if it's just uh, one of his abilities. Debilitate, recovery, defensive, dark intellect. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Burden of might, uh, power gain by striking or being struck. Uh, their powers are reduced by 15%. For each buff currently activated on them, additionally, each time a buff activates on them for any reason, they will lose 25% of their. Okay, so. Uh, basically, I was losing health uh, every time I did that uh, I dexterity because of that. Okay, that's such a pain in the butt. All right, so let's go in here with Human Torch. And we don't have to worry about that. I do want to... Come on there, buddy. I do need to get up uh, my temperature. Perfect. Just gonna take that. Three combos. I'm not worried about uh, max temperature. Awesome. Just reverse all that healing. Awesome. And he's down. He's up. So Human Torch definitely uh, will work for that fight. Like I said, Warlock will uh, work for that fight too. Um, I had my own slip up, but it's okay. It is what it is. Now we have, uh, you know, uh, part of his me, me not read that note correctly. So we have Nick Fury, defenders, buffs and debuffs uh, inflict last 150% longer. Fury abilities are 40% more effective. Fantastic. And then you have adaptive. Aggressive and shank. So when striking in defenders block, the attacker has a 40% chance to be inflicted with a bleed debuff, dealing up to 1% of the defender's attack is direct damage over 10 seconds. And then tactical adjustment. When the fighter receives a bleed, uh, they are immune to. Nick has 75% chance to gain one tactical charge. This chance is reduced by 25% against mutant heroes. So, um, you know. So basically, if you brought in like you know, a robot like Warlock or something like this to this fight, um, you know, his tactical charges would go off the roof. And at the same time, um, in this case, I don't mind hitting to his block with using like somebody like Omega. So it was a really good matchup for him, um, where I can stack my bleeds. And let's get that going on him. Gonna need to get close back to him again. Let's just get this going again. And let's hit into his bleed block. Oh, that was such crap. So it is okay. Uh, let's that. I want to head into his block and get that bleed going. Let's do this. Um, I just want to get close to him. Go to reparry. Let's get that off. Let's get him to his special two by hitting his block. And come on. Throw your special two. Throw your special two, buddy. Good, 
dexterity. And throw our special three. Let's just get him over to there, and this should finish him off. Perfect. So, not the cleanest fight. Had some slip ups, but not bad at all. So, and now we have the lady herself of the hour. Um, Captain Marvel movie, enhanced armor breaks, armor breakability, these are 40% more effective, special one bias, uh, redouble determination, so for each debuff the defender gains, uh, 0.65% attack, power gain rate, bleed poison armor debuffs count twice, so you gotta be careful with uh, armor breaking her, binary ignition, Captain Marvel starts to fight, what, 10 energy charges and activates binary ignition, cause, uh, Marvel to fight more aggressively. Mm -hmm. That's fun. And energy sensitive. Generates two additional energy charges when she blocks uh, struck or activates a special one. So definitely probably going to be going into binary condition very fast. But uh, should uh, handle this fight very well as Captain Marvel does uh, take extra damage when fighting uh, Go. So special one that's going to nullify all of that and get her out of and I am purposely just blocking these um, I'm, 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 I'm purposely letting her hit into my block because I'm not going to uh, parry her and, and do the armor break and at the same time, because Doom is um, armor break immune, it just uh, makes it really an easy fight for him. And it should pretty much, that's it. I won't even go, I won't even get to go through full rotation. But not too bad um, overall. Uh, so we're able to get through there. I did use a little, one, uh, um, a little health potion or whatever. But we have our shade. We have our 6,000 uh, tier five hero catalyst. And 500 six star uh, class. So uh, let's kind of um, just look at this. Uh, we can discuss the um, the notes who are great counters. I will say already from looking at this, um, um, if you were to use Quake, Quake handles um, a lot of these fights uh, very well. Uh, Thing, um, I mean, even with the Limber, if you can play Quake very well. Uh, Diablo is not a problem. Uh, uh, Quick uh, can do Havoc. It's a little bit risky, but she definitely can. Uh, Minister, Mr. Sinister, um, also not a problem because there's nothing here. There's no uh, Limber. It's just a burden of might, and you're not worried about throwing specials anyway. And you're not making contact, so you're not worried about the healing. Uh, so it's really making sure that you bring somebody, and honestly, Quake can... Uh, charges and Captain Marvel generates additional energy charge when she blocks or is struck by energy attack and she can honestly do uh, Captain Marvel too so that's one hero um, but uh, like I said uh, Stealth Spider-Man definitely great for the thing fight um, you don't want to use somebody that like blades him like Gwenpool or Nick Fury, just because of the empowered immunity node. Um, so basically, it, it really becomes just a standard thing fight. Uh, he is just a bit chunky, definitely. And then the heavy hitter makes it sometimes hard to uh, find your in. But, you know, there's no limber. Um, he's not stun immune or anything like that, so you can just parry and take the fight typically, like I said, with anyone. Um, with um, Diablo, you just want to watch out for when he goes unstoppable. Um, he has limber, but I don't suggest, you know, based on your mastery setups, I don't suggest pairing him anyway because of the, um, because of the, um, 
the rebound determination, and then you'll have armor break, and you have to deal with that. Uh, I mean, it, it's not a long parry stun. It's not a long armor break, but, you know, the point of parrying is so that you can find an open for hitting them. So um, just um, Human Torch works out perfect if, you know, using that nope, the Nova. So Quake will definitely work well. Uh, most uh, um, folks uh, will work well for this fight. Um, you know, like I said, um, it's just a straight stand-up um, fight. You could use um, pretty much anyone to take on to take on Diablo. There's nothing tricky there. Uh, Warlock definitely is a tricky fight because of the way the um, crumbling armor works. Um, making sure that you get him down um, before. So I would suggest you know somebody like Guillotine twenty nine ninety nine um, will work fantastic. Uh, Colossus will work fine now. Um, if uh, Hulk Buster. So anyone that has a you know a armor up buff like that, like I said, you just have to really stay aggressive. Um, what I was doing with regards to the double parry. Um, so oh, and oh, you always, also you have to be mindful of with the double parry that on the second you know sometimes he'll do medium medium and of course as medium hits you can't parry so that makes it a little bit more difficult um hit uh fighters that can parry a medium um you know you have uh guardian now guardian is a new character if you've been lucky enough to get him from a crystal uh the new guardian definitely uh, works well because he can uh, parry projectiles um, you know, but like I said, that's a newer character. Outside of that, I would think of for older characters, your Colossus, your Hulkbusters, hell, um, your uh, Red Skull. You know, depend on you know your roster. If you have a six-star Red Skull, you know, hey, now it's the time that he could probably shine. But anybody that really has, um, or you know what, if you don't want, if you you know, it'll be a longer fight. But Cyclops. He is immune to Havoc's um, effects, so you don't have to worry about the plasma detonation or anything like that. Um, it just becomes a straight up fight. All you need to do, and he's aggressive and so forth, so you don't have to really worry about anything. The improved power gain, it doesn't really matter. Havoc can throw off all the specialties he wants, and it doesn't affect you. So uh, Cyclops is actually perfect for this fight, and I will be even honest with you, um, in um, Act 6, uh, 6-3, I think. That's the one with the... In Act 6-3. Um, I believe that one has a Havoc boss. And, uh, you know, at the time, just... I didn't have any good counters for Havoc. And I hated fighting Havoc at that time. Uh, I was horrible fighting Havoc. Hell, I still mess up fighting Havoc. And I used Cyclops. It was a longer fight. But you know what? I didn't worry about any of his kinetic... I didn't worry about uh, his... Um, about his, you know, about his ability whatsoever. All you have to do is make sure that you don't get hit by a heavy attack. Um, as feedback, you know, Colossus, Cyclops is not um, affected by, it is affected by feedback. Um, but other than that, this is a chance to take out your um, your blue or your red um, Cyclops. Uh, uh, Cyclops. But uh, like, yeah, old characters, Cyclops, Colossus, um, Hulkbuster, all of them will work fine for this fight. Um, then you have Mr. Sinister here. Like you saw, I used uh, Human Torch. Uh, anybody that can you know, reverse that healing well, um, you can definitely slow play this. Um, box, burden of Fight, Genetic Perfection. Uh, you can slow play this with the Void. It will work fantastic for this fight. Uh, Warlock definitely works. Like I said, I did slip up, but Warlock works. Um, just remember the Burden of Might. Uh, Human Torch. Uh, all of those characters uh, will work um, against him. And he, pretty much anybody that uh, doesn't crit. The new Guardian will work fantastic because he doesn't crit. Um, yeah, but those are uh, some heroes that will work well against this fight. And then you have the Nick Fury, and as I said, you know, he's going about it. Um, you know, if you hit into his block, you just have to remember you're going to take that bleed. So Omega Red is like a fantastic hit fighter for this. Um, then at the same time, um, let's see, tactical edge. 
Placement. What if the attacker receives it? Late thief left there immune to. So you don't want, like I said, you don't want to use a robot. Um, aggressive, adaptive, archangel. Uh, he'll work fantastic against this. Um, against against him. Uh, most of your mutants, you just have to remember because of the shank. If you hit into his block, you know you're going to take um, that bleed. But um, yeah. Other than that, like I said, definitely want to bring in some mutants um, um, that uh, will work against this. Like I said, most, honestly, most, uh, you can use pretty much most people against um, Nick Fury. Like I said, just, uh, you know, do remember the shank and remember the, um, the tactical adjustments, so. Just uh, remember those two things, but yeah, it's pretty straightforward for it fight. And then, of course, uh, Captain Marvel uh, movie. Um, honestly, even with the armor breaks, it doesn't really matter that much. Uh, rebound determination, so you want to be careful if you armor break her because she will have that uh, increased power um, power gain. Um, then you have the binary might. She starts with the technician, so pretty much, you know, she's going to end in the entry sensitive, so... Um, she's pretty much going to go into binary mission. Just, you know, keep your wits about you. Um, remember, if you throw a special attack, um, she's basically going to lose that indestructible charge anyway. And uh, the binary mission charges are going to fall down to like 10 or whatever. Um, but any mystic hero um, you have does fine against Captain Marvel movie. Uh, your clairvoyant... Um, could use a four-star Doctor Doom on this, honestly. Um, four-star uh, Doctor Doom if you're if you're playing well enough. Uh, your magic, but all of those heroes uh, will have no problem taking out this Captain Marvel movie. But uh, yep, that is the first week of the um, this uh, boss rush event. Uh, you know, definitely. I hope uh, you know you've learned something from this video and watching me t watching me clear it. Uh, definitely, um, you know, leave a comment. Let me know how uh, you're doing with the event. And, uh, you know, don't be afraid to go in there and try it. Definitely some good rewards. As, uh, well, the rewards are okay, but they add up. <laughs> and you know what? From these rewards, if you're able to pull that next hero that uh, will help you, uh, you know, uh, get you to another level when it comes to clearing content and so forth, you know, it's definitely worth it, so. Um, well, as always, guys, um, you know, this video has been long enough, but I appreciate you watching. Uh, don't forget to like and uh, hit the subscribe button and notifications uh, for uh, more of these uh, quests to come. And, uh, and, you know, just, hey, catch you in another one. Thank you as always, and have a blessed day.